Okay, if you're a startup founder right now and you don't have a video sales letter on your homepage, you're playing marketing on hard mode. Every sale that you get, every customer that comes to the door, you're doing twice as three times, four times as much work than you actually need to be doing. Here's why. People want to watch videos. They don't want to read about your app. They don't care, let alone they don't want to even believe the graphics that are on your screen or the proof pieces that you have or the logos of the companies that you work with. And quite frankly, all that nice copy that you're putting on the page, they don't even believe that. They want to see it for themselves through video. Now, maybe you're new to marketing or maybe you're old school and you've been led to believe that a VSL or a keynote video is the pinnacle top of the mountain thing that you must do and you must make it perfect. And then you misinterpret that, not to your own fault, to mean that you need the highest level of production quality, the most engaging editing, Mr. Beast style swooshes and transitions. But here's the thing. Your VSL is probably the simplest video that you'll ever make. It's just you talking to your audience, almost like you're on a Zoom call, almost like you're just doing a simple sales pitch. You're just talking because you have so much information to deliver that all the VFX and all the editing and the music and crazy effects are just going to get in the way. Actually, all those swooshes and transitions and trying to edit like Mr. Beast, they're going to make it more distracting and actually going to hurt your conversions. So let me show you the new way to do VSLs in 2024. In the past, I've done VSLs that were 20 minutes long, 45 minutes long, all very long in-depth VSLs with a lot of editing. And I've recently come across this new VSL format that I'm calling the 90 second VSL. And I don't think that in today's day and age that you really need all that fluff, that you really need a 30, 40, 50 minute sales pitch in order to inform your customer about your software. Think about it. Most customers are pretty smart nowadays. They just want to know what can you do? What can you do for me specifically? How do you do it in what specific way? What's the price and what do I get? That's it. They don't need to know your origin story. They don't need to know your hero's journey. They don't need to hear about how many customers you've helped or how many millions of dollars you've generated. Let's talk about the two modes that you need to understand as a startup founder when it comes to marketing. You're either in traffic mode or in your conversion mode. That's it. Traffic mode is all about getting attention, getting eyeballs, getting people to sign up, getting leads, getting views to your website. This is where you do all of the fancy editing for your content creation and your social media stuff. But when it comes to conversion mode, this is where your VSL lives. Once you have that traffic, once you have people signing up, it's time to just convert, get people to buy. If they're on your email list, then you're in conversion mode. You're selling them until they no longer want to be on that list. Here's the framework that's actually working right now, and it comes in five parts. Number one, deep desire, not just surface level wants. You need to get in your customer's head. Talk about the down and dirty, everything that they're almost embarrassed to admit they want. Like if you're talking to a technical founder, they don't just want more customers. They're embarrassed that marketing feels gross to them, that it's not predictable like code, that they feel like a sleazy salesperson every time they try it. Let me kind of give you a real example. When I'm talking with startup founders with my launch sales kit, I know they don't just want marketing help. They want to not feel gross about marketing. They want marketing and launching to be as predictable as writing code. They want a system that they can follow without feeling like a sleazy internet marketer. That is getting in your customer's head. That is finding their true desire and truly understanding that part about your customer. Let's talk about the solution. So what do you do? How do you solve it? Keep it simple. Don't try to be smart. Don't try to impress anyone. Just say, I do this with my product doing a specific mechanism, the how of your product. I help startup founders with less than 11 employees launch their first product and get their first 1,000 customers or at least their first 100 paying customers. Boom, simple, clear, no fancy language. Let's talk about secret sauce. This is where most people try to pad their stats or brag about their experience. Don't do it. No one cares about what you've done. In 2024, we're all tired of, I did this, or I helped this client get that, or I've, honestly, it comes from a point of weakness. It's like you're having to puff out your chest. Now, let me give you a real example of what not to do. I could say, I've got 100,000 customers, and I help my clients get $50 million in revenue. But if someone's watching this, and they just need their first 100 customers, or hell, even just their first 10 customers, that's actually going to push them away. They're thinking, this guy's playing in a different league, and this isn't for me. The next part of your VSL is called everything that they get. Just list it out. No fancy names, no proprietary systems or revolutionary frameworks. Just say, here's what's in the box. Email templates, just say that. Landing pages, just say that. Keep it simple. And here's something that nobody talks about. You need to make your deliverables sound achievable. If you're promising too much, people get overwhelmed. Like in my launch kit, I tell people straight up, 
you'll probably spend about four hours working on this launch over the next 10 days. That's it. I'm not trying to promise them that they're going to quit their job and that they need to work 80 hours a week. The next part of your VSL is price and guarantee. Hit them with the price, give them a strong guarantee and make it brain dead simple to get a refund if they want. I'm serious about this. You should be able to refund in one click. None of this talk to support for 10 days and then get 50% of your money back. None of that bullshit. Here's my refund policy. If you don't like this for whatever reason, you can have your money back. I only want to keep your money if you're absolutely thrilled with this because otherwise I have angry, silent customers or even worse, mildly happy customers and I don't want either. So that's the content of the VSL. Now let's talk about actually recording this thing. Here's what you're going to need. A teleprompter or some kind of teleprompter app. I use an app called Prompt Smart Pro. It's a little bit old and clunky, but it follows your voice. And as you say the words on screen, it will move the teleprompter for you. Next, you're going to need basic lighting. You can get a simple ring light. You can sit in front of a window. Keep it very simple. You don't need to be a cinematographer. Then you're going to need something to record with. Either your webcam, a simple microphone, a basic webcam, or if you have a DSLR, it's time to pull it out. That's it. No fancy camera setups, no expensive microphones, no green screens, just you talking to a camera being real. For editing, here's what I typically do. I will use something called CapCut. It's a free editing app. You can put it on your desktop or on your phone. This is simple editing. You're just kind of cutting out the ums and ahs. You're cutting out the dead space and overall tightening up your message and bringing it down to that 90 second mark. For your VSL, again, you are in conversion mode. So don't add music. Don't add B-roll or second shots or stock footage. Don't add fancy transitions. If your customer can't watch you talk for 90 seconds without getting distracted by shiny objects, you've probably got a bigger problem. So here's what the actual recording process looks like. Write your script following the five-part framework, load it into your teleprompter, record three to four complete takes, pick the best one, edit, splice in the best ones, clean up the ums and ahs, and add your captions. That's it. You're done. Overall editing and recording process should take less than an hour. Here's a quick pro tip about recording. Don't try to get it perfect in one take. Record the whole thing three to four times straight through, even with mistakes. If you got a pause, just keep going. Don't stop and start. And then what you do is go into the edit and choose the best ones or choose the best moments and put all the best moments together. And this is going to keep your energy consistent throughout the entire VSL. Now, most people overcomplicate this. They think they need to hire a video team, rent out studio space, get professional lighting. You don't need any of that. You just need to talk directly to your customers about their problem and give them your solution. So let's talk about testing your VSL now. You need to be in, again, two modes here. Traffic mode is getting eyeballs on your VSL and then going into number two, conversion mode, making sure that those eyeballs turn into paying customers. What's nice about a 90 second VSL is you can test it pretty quickly. If that is not working, you go record a new one and swap it out the next day. This is the advantage over a 40 minute, 50 minute VSL. Those scripts are 10,000, 20,000 words long. The entire edit takes a huge amount of time to rearrange. And once you're kind of stuck with your 40 minute VSL, there's not much wiggle room or unless you're going to cut out entire sections. Let me do a quick recap on what not to do. Don't start your video with, hey guys, what's going on everybody? Welcome to, uh, my name is Jordan. Don't, nobody cares. Don't try to impress anyone with their credentials. Don't add fancy transitions. Don't make it longer than 90 seconds. Don't overcomplicate your refund process. Don't try to sound smart. Don't brag about your stats unless they directly relate to your customer. Don't spend a week editing this video. You should spend less than an hour recording and editing this whole thing. Look, at the end of the day, your VSL is just a conversation with your customer. That's it. You're not making a movie. You're not creating content. You're just explaining how you can help someone solve their problem. And in this video right here, I scripted, recorded, and edited this entire VSL live in under 38 minutes. Check it out right here.